Title, The Fascinating Design of Human Feet, Exploring the Limitations of 360-Degree Rotation. Introduction. Human feet are remarkable structures, enabling us to walk, run, and maintain balance. They are composed of intricate bones, joints, muscles, and ligaments that work together harmoniously. However, one characteristic that sets human feet apart from fictional beings or certain animals is their inability to rotate a full 360 degrees. This essay aims to delve into the qualitative reasons behind this limitation, shedding light on the evolutionary factors, anatomical constraints, and functional advantages that contribute to the design of our feet. Evolutionary Considerations To comprehend the limitation of 360-degree rotation in human feet, we must explore the evolutionary journey that led to their current form. Over millions of years, natural selection has shaped the human anatomy to suit our bipedal locomotion. Our feet evolved to provide stability, balance, and efficient forward propulsion. In the process, certain adaptations occurred, which restricted the degree of rotation our feet can achieve. Anatomical Constraints The structure of the human foot plays a crucial role in determining its range of motion. The foot consists of numerous bones, including the tarsal bones, metatarsal bones, and phalanges, which form the arches and joints necessary for walking and weight-bearing. These bones, along with the connecting ligaments, tendons, and muscles, create a stable platform for movement. However, the interlocking nature of these components places inherent limitations on rotational motion. The talus and ankle joint at the core of the foot's limited rotational capacity is the talus bone, which forms the primary connection between the foot and the leg. The talus sits atop the calcaneus, heel bone, and connects to the tibia and fibula bones of the lower leg, forming the ankle joint. This joint, known as the talocrural joint, primarily enables flexion and extension, allowing for the up and down movement of the foot. Its design emphasizes stability and shock absorption, rather than rotational flexibility. Muscle and Tendon Arrangement The arrangement of muscles and tendons in the foot further contributes to its limited rotational ability. Muscles, such as the peroneal and tibialis posterior, play essential roles in stabilizing the foot and providing support during locomotion. These muscles are primarily oriented to control movements in the sagittal and frontal planes, restricting rotational motion. Additionally, the tendons that connect these muscles to the bones are optimized for transmitting forces efficiently, rather than facilitating rotational movements. Functional Advantages While the inability to rotate the foot a full 360 degrees may seem restrictive, it is essential to recognize the functional advantages conferred by this design. Stability and balance, the limited range of rotational motion in the foot enhances stability, ensuring a solid foundation during weight-bearing activities. This stability is particularly crucial during walking, running, or standing, minimizing the risk of ankle sprains and other injuries. Efficient propulsion, the structure of the foot, with its longitudinal and transverse arches, allows for efficient forward propulsion. This design, combined with the specific arrangement of muscles, tendons, and joints, optimizes energy transfer and helps propel the body efficiently during locomotion. Adaptation to bipedalism, the human foot has evolved to support bipedalism, a distinctive characteristic of our species. The limitation on rotational motion contributes to the overall biomechanics required for walking and running on two feet, a trait that sets humans apart from quadrupeds. Conclusion while it may be intriguing to imagine a foot capable of rotating a full 360 degrees, the limitations on rotational motion in human feet are not arbitrary or accidental. They reflect the fascinating evolutionary journey and the delicate balance.